Someone's there. Where's that headless Hellion? Hang on! Get away from me! Why are you looking to make a sacrifice of yourself? I have to die. There's no other way. I killed someone. The man who was exploiting my family. For that reason, people who didn't even know us would curse at our family, throw rocks at us. I only did what I did to preserve my family's happiness, but it's brought nothing but more pain. The legends say that if I throw myself from here as a sacrifice to the gods, then I might have a chance of absolving myself and of restoring my honor. It is my only hope for salvation. If the prospect of life promises nothing but suffering, then better I die! Enough. Let her go, Saray. What? She regrets dirtying her hands for the sake of her family. Seeking restoration of her honor. All she wants is someone's approval. She doesn't even think that she's to blame. What's gotten into you, Dezel? Nothing. A Hellion's domain! Plenty of times when I've wondered if I truly did the right thing. We all have. That feeling of loneliness, it can drive you crazy. But the idea that sacrificing yourself will erase your sins, it's a fallacy. Killing yourself means nothing to the Seraphim. But I... You worked so hard to protect your family. Do you want to leave them all alone? For the sake of a sacrifice that has no meaning at all? <laughs> I don't want to die. <laughs> Keep struggling. That's the fate of all with blood on their hands. I know I sound pretentious, but my friends tell me I need to stop trying to bear everything by myself, too. We all need our families. If you work together, I'm sure you'll find some way out. I'll try. But your trial is not over. That's right! We still gotta stop him! Fire! 
right through! Burning charge! Primordial light! Blood metal! Burning, Burning charge! Be on your Full force! force. So this is what became of all those sacrifices. A warped idol, born of a warped religion. You're gonna be alright. Can you stand up? Um... Are you the... The Shepherd? I'm called Saray. Then are the gods... I mean... Are the Seraphim with you? Yes, a wind seraph accompanying me named Dezel is the one that saved your life. Hey, keep me out of this. Oh, thank you so much, Seraph Dezel. Really, truly, thank you, thank you. I, I promise that I will live bravely from now on. I'll look in my soul and find a way to believe in myself. <laughs> Aw, he's embarrassed. We still have a bit more business here. Think you can get back down by yourself? Yes, I'll be fine. I'll have someone from the Frontier Patrol take me back to town. Yeah, good idea. Somehow it all worked out. You have shown me not only your strength, but your spirit and bonds as well. You are more than qualified to receive the spiritual power of wind. You speak of spirit? Bonds? <laughs> Surely you have noticed, Dezel, that which is attached to your being at this very moment. It is not something that you should deny. You felt the voices of your companions, and acted of your own will, without any need for words. Are we done with this yet? Get it over with. Do you have something against developing true friendships? Why? There's something very important that I have to do. You should have picked up on that by now. And it is with true friendship that many obstacles may be surmounted. That you have reached this shrine, overcome the trial, and now stand here at this very altar serves as testament of that fact. <sighs> now then, let us offer a prayer. To the young wind seraph, and also to the young shepherd. What awaits you on the path ahead, none can say. Heartbreak, redemption, endless possibilities. Never lose the guiding light that will lead you safely to the end of your journey. Yes. Light, huh? So then, Shepherd Soray, may the light shine always on your journey. Thank you, Wardell. How you feeling? Okay? Yeah. Hmm? I just wanted to thank you. Huh? Dezel, you mustn't push yourself too hard. <sighs> hey, at least you got to do something out there. There's no need to stay here. Let's go. <sighs> Are you alright? The power isn't affecting you, is it? I'm fine, but thanks for worrying about me. We've obtained all four spiritual powers. Think we're ready for Heldolf? Well... No way to tell until we try, right? Yeah, but first, we gotta track him down. 
How? He hasn't exactly been mailing us postcards. We know where he was. Why not start there? The battlefield. Works for me.